welcome back to my channel. I know I feel like it's been forever since we've connected. Some of you guys have been following me on Facebook. Some of you guys see me on TikTok, Instagram. I'm actually in all the places, but I've just not been on YouTube because around, I don't want to say like last year, maybe around November, uh, my husband and I started talking about um, selling our house and buying some land, building a house. And so if any of you guys know what that's like, then you know that it kind of takes over your life. It really does. And when you're an entrepreneur or a small business like I am, uh, you just can't juggle all the things. It's just not realistic. So I took a break from YouTube, but it wasn't like I took a break period. Like I've still been doing all kinds of DIYs. I honestly, I started on Facebook. So I've always been present, like super present on Facebook. I just... Not that we don't have a lot of subscribers here on YouTube. Like, I think last time I checked, we have like 30,000, which is still a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of you guys. But Facebook has been like the nearest and dearest to my heart. There's there's almost 500,000 people on Facebook who are my my crafty friends or my creative friends. So I've, I've always kind of been there. And, you know, I didn't take a break from Facebook, but I definitely gave YouTube a break. So I wanted to make this video just to say, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I'm excited to be back. And I hope that you guys are going to stick around for all the goodness that we're going to start putting out. Um, since I've been away uh, last September, I hired my daughter-in-law, Michelle, who works for me in my business. And she writes all of my blogs. She does a lot of the behind the scenes things. She takes care of a lot of my emails. Um, she does she does a ton of stuff. And then I also hired my son, Dylan. I had a need for a video editor. So Dylan's been helping me for the past several months. I think since about October or so, he's been helping me edit videos. You know, there's a lot that goes into all of this stuff. So He's been tag teaming with me. He's most of the videos you will see and watch. He has edited. He's not a video editor, but he's done a pretty stinking good job. So, you know, when you have a need, you find someone to fill it. And, you know, I'm very thankful that I'm able to um, have family work with me. But I just thought, you know what, why not have this video go, go out to you guys and kind of explain not that it really, I know that a lot of people are like, it doesn't really matter. Just come on back and show us what you got. So I will, but I like to talk to my creative community. I spend a lot of time on Facebook Live. I spend a lot of time building connections with people. And I feel like some people love the live experience and some people are just like, give me the stuff. I just, I'm not here for the conversation or the relationship. They just want ideas and inspiration, which is fine. There's a lot of people who have connected with me and my family. I've, I've basically put my life on Facebook pretty much since, I want to say like 2015. I, as a brick and mortar store owner, I would do store tours, um, just different things like that. But uh, it kind of has just kind of evolved. So if you're not really aware of, you know, the former, you know, business that I had, I, I tr I'm going to try not to turn this into like this really long video, but I like to kind of give a backstory of things. So I used to have a booth business and I painted furniture. I made home decor and then I opened a storefront and I was a store owner. Uh, my business was called the Rusty Nail Home Market. It was uh, started in Rankin, Georgia, and then we moved to an outlet mall in Pooler, Georgia. And then in 2019, I closed my store. And I kind of segmented into business coaching for a while. And then I just kind of realized through that process that I was definitely more of the creative person. And I love the creative side of things. I love business. I love teaching people all the things that I've learned as an entrepreneur. But at my root core, I love DIY and decorating. I just do. I love being a maker. And so that's where the maker's map kind of came from is I closed down one chapter of my business and kind of opened up another. So, you know, I named my blog, The Maker's Map. And, you know, little, I try to hold on to the segment that I used to do when I would do Facebook Live videos is DIY with Amber. So we would do like make, make it Mondays or, you know, just painting things, making things. 
And so I thought, you know what, how can I keep that in with, you know, everything else that we have going on? And so it's like paying tribute to something. So, you know, my channel is DIY with Amber Strong, which is my name. Um, and then my blog is called The Maker's Map. So we blog everything that you can think of. Uh, we try to put everything we can on the website, be a point of resource. So for the past few months since, um, like I said, September, it was kind of like meh, mediocre kind of blogging, um, doing the best we could just to kind of put things out. I've been doing all of this by myself. And so when I took on Michelle and Dylan to kind of help me with um, all the things, you know, I'm a dream chaser. And so my goal in life, my mission in life is just to inspire the world, little old me. I'll find a way to inspire the world through some sort of, you know, gifts and abilities that, that God's give, given me. So um, we've got a ton of stuff on the blog. And so throughout this whole like break that I've taken from YouTube, there's so much to tell you. There's so much going on. And I know that a lot of you guys are here for the projects and the DIYs and the decor, but I really just feel like, you know, if I'm going to come back and be the person that I really want to kind of be on YouTube or be just in my life, I don't, I just feel like I'm not just a crafter, not just a DIYer. Uh, I love to share ideas. I love to talk with people. I love to inspire people. I love to take people along the journey and uh, take them behind the scenes with stuff. So the house adventure has just been something that I've learned a lot through. And it, and I really just needed to take a step back and try to juggle all the things. Honestly, it was, it was a good thing. Um, but a lot since we've been gone, I've just, I get message after message after message from you guys. And you've reached out and you're like, oh my gosh, I love your ideas, but where have you been? It's just been one of those things where if I can't give it 100%, I'm not going to do it halfway. So I just kind of stepped back. Out of nowhere, this this five acres just kind of dropped in our laps. And we found a builder who was going to build us a house. And we found this land. It's perfect. We purchased that land in April of 2021. And then we've just been waiting. Even today, we're still waiting. We have our floor plans. And I'll have to share with you guys some of that stuff if you want to see all of those things. But uh, we had custom floor plans made. Now we're just waiting. <laughs> we're waiting on our construction loan. We're waiting on the permits. We're waiting to break ground. There's not really a whole lot that we can do on our end at this point other than the builder just has to build our house. But the great thing is, is we get to design the entire thing the way that we want it to be. It's kind of our dream house. It's not really our forever home. It's kind of our forever right now home. And so I just wanted to be honest and tell you, like, this is where we are. This is where I am. I love sharing my DIY projects. I love sharing inspiration. Even if it's not for everyone, I always love to just inspire people. If something that I do that I like or that I share with everyone, my hope is that in some way it sparks inspiration in you to think of something that you can do that will fit something that you love for your home. Like that's my goal. How can we create home decor? How can we create things that uh, we can do on a budget and fill our homes with things that we just love. So I just believe in, you know, creating a home that you want to come home to on a budget so that you can take the money and invest it in other things to build memories with your family or yourself or other things like that. I'm I'm a talker, you guys. I I love to share inspiration. I love to just throw ideas, things that just drop in my head. I have a really hard time staying on target for conversations, obviously. But I really just feel like, you know, if I'm going to come back to YouTube and really show up and, you know, get to know you guys, you guys get to know me. I just felt like I'm not really done a, a video where it really is kind of talking about, you know, all the things. And honestly, this video doesn't even talk about all the things, but it talks about just where I am. So uh, my name is Amber. I'm 43 years old. I am an entrepreneur. I am a DIY home decor blogger, and I love all things crafty and painting and making and saving money. I get super excited about stuff like that. I love to think outside the box. I love to do complex projects. A lot of my projects, you guys, are not going to be super fast. They're going to have a lot of moving parts. They're going to have a lot of things to them. 
I personally love that. I believe there's something for everyone. And so I just kind of always felt like, how can I just be my own unique self? And I'm a complex girl, but I love to teach paint finishes. I love to teach tips and tricks. I love to take the complex and just make something, you know, a lot of people love to pass time. Some people don't have a lot of time, but I do know this, that we all can learn and be inspired by something, but my projects are not always going to be super, you know, one step, two step. There's going to be a lot of things that go into it. And if that's what you love, like totally, this is going to be for you. Uh, I'm not saying there won't be some, you know, quick little things that are super fun, but I just want to be honest and be open about what my channel is about. My channel is about, you know, my name is Amber, you know, it's DIY with Amber Strong. That's my channel. The videos that I do might be projects. They might be things about my life. Anything that I can go through in life can inspire another person or help another person then I'm going to share it with people. But what I love so much about what I'm able to do now is to chase the dreams that I have, you know, chase them fiercely because I'm, I just do. I get up every day and we work in this building. I'm in a, a 12 foot by 36 foot building in my backyard. It's, you know, my studio, my office, my craft room. It's where, you know, we all kind of work in here together behind these this area is a mess. It's a hot disaster. Even this is a hot disaster, but still, um, I try to make it look cute. So, you know, we all work out here and you know, I, I love that I can just kind of get up. I work from home. I get to chase my dreams. I get to inspire people. I get to do something that I love. I, I get to decorate and take photos and edit photos and do videos and go live and, and meet people and talk to people and share ideas. You know, we get to share, I get to share my family with other people. And I, we've met so many people along the way who just don't have anyone, you know, especially through COVID being shut in or being put on restrictions and things like that. So what my goal and motive is, is to just be myself, no matter how that is, it's never going to fit the mold or into the box that other people think that, you know, I always say like, my box is not going to look like your box. The contents of my box might be different from your box, but that's what makes us unique and amazing individuals is that we all have our own character. We all have our own qualities and we all have something to offer each other. So I just wanted to kind of do this. Welcome back to my channel video and kind of quickly pour out all the things just to kind of get you up to speed with what's going on. If you want to stick around, I'll just flash through some photos so that you guys can kind of see it. Um, the land that we've purchased. Don't forget to go if, you know, you want to catch up on things. Like, there's a whole slew of stuff on Facebook. Like I said, there's a ton of stuff over on um, my blog. And I'll put links in this video as well. I have a TikTok. I have Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, a ton of other things, I'm sure. But you guys, thank you for just your patience. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for being here. And, you know, if you want to leave me some comments of things that you'd like to see us do on the channel, that would be fantastic because I love to include other people. And don't forget, like sprinkle it around. You know, I don't know what the rules are with, with YouTube of saying certain words, but Lord Jesus, Facebook has got us on restriction on all kinds of words we can say, you know, they just, they just do. But Sprinkle on Facebook means to share, pass it on, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell, leave me a comment. It's one of the best ways that you can support any creator is just showing them love. If you can never spend money with someone like in their business or in their shop or in their merchandise store or, or anything like that, the one thing that you can do that is free for everyone is to just spend your time with us, give us a thumbs up, leave us a quick comment, you know, just encourage us, just be a part of that community because it really does mean something. And it does help push us to get in front of people who may not have met us. We want to spend our time with you. And that's a lot of reasons why a lot of us do this is we, we throw our ideas out there and we become very vulnerable and we're not sure, you know, sometimes we second guess ourselves and sometimes it's like, did I talk too much? Was the music too loud? Was the edits good enough? I mean, it's, it's all about production. And for me, I just want it to be about 
the thing that we're doing to inspire people. It's not always going to be a perfect package. Believe me. It's not always going to be, you know, the best edits, the best lighting, the best everything. Lord goodness, I've realized how bad my cameras are. I just want to say thank you for your patience Thank you for, you know, getting to this point in the video. A lot of people don't make it through two minutes of a video. So around here, uh, this is what my channel is. And again, I, I hope my videos get better and clearer. I've got Dylan doing some research on that. <laughs> I've got him watching other YouTube videos. I'm like, how can we improve, you know? But y'all, I'm just a transparent person. You know, I'm just going to be putting myself out there. You know, maybe a couple times a month, we'll, we'll throw out like some vlog type videos. Well, if you guys want to go on the house journey, please, please tell me you want to go on the house journey. My Facebook friends want to go on the house journey with us. And if you want to be a part of that, we would absolutely love to take you along and maybe it could inspire somebody else who might be going through that as well. So, uh, welcome again. And, um, I'm going to throw up some, I'm going to scoot over so that I can, I could throw up some stuff over here and I could tell you about um, what we've got going on. Okay. So if, if you want to stick around for this, so excited to show this stuff to you guys. But um, this is going to be uh, where I just kind of show you what's been happening. Okay. So we bought this land and it's five acres. There is three acres that are good. And then there are almost about two acres that are wetlands. I live in a town called Rinkin, Georgia. It's just north of Savannah, Georgia. So I'm in the Savannah area and wetlands are not uncommon here. And that's probably been a lot of the reasons why we've had to go through a lot of land decisions is wetlands. So we bought this land. It is five acres. Like I said, it's in Rinkin, Georgia. It's not in a neighborhood. We actually do not have an HOA. We're going to be able to build our own custom house on this piece of land and so I found a house plan on AD house plans or like architectural design house plans. And so this is the house plan that I found and it was great and we loved it. And so I was like, oh my gosh, we're going to modify this plan. Well, we were like, no. So I reached out to the modification team at AD, AD house plans and they were like, oh no, 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 no. What you're wanting is more similar to this plan. Okay, so it's this plan right here, and it's called the Chestnut Point, and it's a house plan by Frank Betts, and so I got on the phone with the architect, and he was like, let's do something. So I had been sketching, like um, sketching right here on my iPad, these ideas of a floor plan, and so I kind of just kind of was like imagining what would be the perfect layout for a house plan. And so this is kind of what I came up with and I did it on Procreate on my iPad and I sketched it up, sent it over to the architect and they redesigned this house for us. And so we just recently got the floor plans back. And so I'm going to show you, this is the exterior and then this is the first floor and then this is the second floor. And then this is kind of like a side view of what it would look like if you were like chop the house in half. That's what you would see on the inside if you were looking in. And then this is just kind of my, my visual that I kind of watercolor sketched on Procreate of what I really want the house to look like. We've still not determined which side things are going to go on. I'm pretty sure the garage is going to be on the right side. So that will probably be the elevation, elevation that we go with. So I'm really excited. And this is a... It looks just like the outside of the chestnut point floor plan, except we're going to do a few changes to it, but we really modified the interior. So we've changed up everything and that has just been the consumption of my time. So if I'm not going to be on YouTube, this is what I'm doing. I'm, I'm doing house stuff. And so now that we're at a point where I feel comfortable you know, kind of juggling all the things and, you know, coming back to YouTube, we, we, we really want to be able to share life with you and spend this time with you guys. So I'm not going to ramble on any further. I just really wanted to show the house stuff to you guys so you can just, you know, kind of understand buying a house is a big thing. It's, it's a time, it's a time 
taker. <laughs> it, it just really is. It's just a lot of stuff from construction loans and floor plans and meeting with builders and looking at land and, and all the things. And then, you know, we don't, we're not just going with a regular home builder. We have a custom builder who is building this house based on what we want it to be. So it's not going to be a spec home. It's going to be like our forever right now dream home. So thank you guys for being here. Thank you for sticking around. And this video was a little bit longer, but I felt like, you know, it was kind of necessary. So after this video, uh, we're going to start rolling out some good stuff for you guys. And every week we're going to release a video to you. And if we can do more than that, we certainly will. Always feel free to, if you know, if you just hop on this video and it's several months down the road, um, just thank you for being here. Thank you for listening to my story. Thank you for the support and the love. And thank you for missing me. <laughs> I know somebody, so many of you have missed us, or at least you've missed me and my, my ideas. But thank you so much for being here. Be sure to subscribe. Turn on the bell. <laughs> Give it a like. Let me know, you know, where you are in your life. And, you know, just hopefully we can get to know each other a little bit more. I'll be putting stuff in, like, I think they're called shorts. I'll be making posts. I'll be kind of posting through here in between, like, video releases. I'm not really sure exactly what day we want to release videos on, but we will be making that decision. But for right now, thank you for being here. I just want to say I appreciate you so much. And thank you for the love. And I'll see you guys on the next video.